there's this bigger thing with our family that needs to happen. And I'll just like break down. I'm like, I'll sell the Jeep if I got to do it. Like, and she knows like, that's like, that's then your, you're serious. That's your favorite <laughs> thing in this world besides me. Like, you know, it's like, that's, you would never do that. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's just a thing. Like I can, you know, and we've even had that talk where it's impractical with car seats. Mm-hmm. The Jeep does not, it's not a minivan. And I've even told her, I'm like, if I need to sell it for five years till the kids are out of diapers and they can fit, well, then I'll get another one. Like I've come to that realization where it's just things. They're not like, and I'm, it's not so much minimalism or whatever, but it's just like, it's just a thing. And if you detach yourself from that, like if I need to live, like if we need to sell our house and move into an apartment for a season, that would suck. It kind of hurt your ego, but I do it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, I've detached myself from my ego being wrapped up in it as much as I would before. I think that's the key part. I've always said my, my personal worth and my net worth, when you can separate those two things, you can make more rational decisions. And I think, again, that's why the commercials try to make every, you know, every person who's ever in any car is a gorgeous person with a babe on their side, right? And because they're trying to get us to think that our personal worth is connected to the car we drive or um, the house we live in or all of the things. And the more we understand that it's, that those are just conveniences and not who we are, the better. Another good example about vehicles. So my husband and I, we have three vehicles in our garage. And one day we pull out in this truck that's, you know, very high function. And the next day we can pull out in a nice car that has a few more luxuries, but it's all about getting us to where we need to go. And then because we've reached that age and it's used (laughs) and it really fit and a friend was selling it, we have a little convertible. Nice. We, who we are doesn't change by which one, which vehicle we pull out of the garage. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a key thing is really feeling solid in who you are and helping separate that. Because then when you're making those decisions, then it's just a financial decision. It's not the, well, and back to my mom, you know, I think her personal worth, she went, went up dramatically when her net worth went down. Mm -hmm. Because suddenly she had the dignity to raise her and go, yep, I'm going to have to live in this small little place, but I'm going to make it work. And I'm not going to have to put up with the indignity of dealing with somebody who is abusing me. And even if it looked to the external world that everything was great, um, it wasn't. And I'm not going to pretend anymore. I'd rather hold my head high and live in a small rental than um, try to pretend in a big flashy house. 